Oh, I'm not paying you good money to stand outside topping its hands, for heaven's sake. I think Lisa's getting some hate. You, you know, she's dead upset about me nana dying and that. Really? <coughs> <coughs> What's going on? It's all right, love. At least she had a good innings. Will this take long? She has just lost her mother-in-law. Well, some of us might think that as a bonus. Oh, how could you? Now, obviously, my commiserations. Since she's going to be knocking off early for the wake, do you think she might consider doing a little work in the meantime? I'll be right there, Mr Pollard. Good. Um, but we've only got an hour, you know. What do you mean? We? Well, I'm practically family, Mr P. I want to pay my respects too. Respects? Sammy, you'll do an extra shift for me, won't you? It's my nana, Mr Pollard. She should never forgive me. That's all of you then. Fine. In your own time. <laughs> <laughs> Hiya. What are you doing? Thought I'd bring you up breakfast. Oh. Well, you've just missed the boat. I've got to get to work. We, well, you know, last night we, uh, and everything's, you know. Well, I thought we'd make the most of it, have a lie in. That sounds fine, but then I'd have to explain why I'm late to you, Mum. You know, last night we certainly made up for lost time, didn't we? This is cold. You were allowed to wait for the tea to brew, didn't I? I'll have to get something at work. Chloe. I'll be late. And is that it? Look, last night was nice and everything, but it hasn't exactly made our problems just vanish into thin air, has it? I can think of a lot worse places to start. I've got to get to work, and so do you. Oh, listen, I think I should warn you, just so you're not totally freaked out. I think they've, they've got her in the house. Your grandma? Yeah, yeah, they've, they've got her laid out. It's sort of open top, do, have a drink, send her off. Right, thanks for the warning. I wish I made more of an effort with her. Hey, she knew how busy you were. Yeah, it's so final, though, isn't it? I mean, oh, Granny, I hardly knew her. No, no last chance to say goodbye. You always think you're going to see him again, and then you... Ah! Oh! You're early. They haven't even put me in my box yet. Hi. Sorry I'm late. Don't worry. I haven't exactly been fighting them off at the bar. Oh, good. Well, in that case, can I pop upstairs and have a quick shower? I'll call. Thanks. Louise, why don't you keep some stuff round there? Save you having to dash back here every time you want to freshen up. Or don't you think if I carry my toothbrush and shampoo round in my bag, it might make me look a bit presumptuous? The amount of time you spend together entitles a girl to a little presumption in my book. Mm, do you think? Just slip a few bits into his bathroom. Leave them there. If they're not there when you go back, you'll know it was a bad move. Mm, I'll think about it. Yes, we had a big row and one thing led to another and we ended up in bed. Like you do. <laughs> so is everything back to normal then? Well, that's just it. Cos, like, afterwards you had that feeling you get after a one-night stand, you know, that you kind of wish you hadn't bothered, really. Oh, I wouldn't know. <laughs> I'm trying to be serious here. Chloe, you've never had a one-night stand. You're not the type. I have. I think you might have told me about it. All right, I haven't, but I can imagine how it feels. Right, OK. So, anyway, where does Sid fit into all of this? Sid doesn't fit into any of it. He's just a lodger. Oh. Well, I'll give it a couple of weeks. You and Scott, you'll soon get back to how things were. That's if you want to. I thought you supposed to have told him! I didn't know we were going to turn up early, did I? Rona, this is Peg, my dad and Anna. Nice to meet you. Yeah, don't tell me they didn't bother to put you in picture, then. What, the bananas, Captain Scarlet? Your Uncle Zach has had one of his ideas. Oh, oh this is the clever bit. She's not really dead. <laughs> really? Well, she doesn't look at all well. Oh. Better than you. You should have seen your face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you better hop in, Mother. With there being free ale, Shadrach's likely to turn up early and all. <laughs> don't worry, I'll hop in when I hear Van in drive. All this just to play a joke on Shadrach? A joke? No, son, this is deadly serious. Peg wants to be with Marilyn and Elvis. Don't tell me. They're not really dead either. No, no, these ones are my cousins. Oh. Yeah, and they won't take uh, off our hands uh, unless they think she's, uh, you know, as a doornail. Good plan. Mm, ta. Just one little thing, it's a tiny little thing. Won't they notice well, something's up when they get her home, or is she planning on lining that until she really pegs it? 
fags it. No, no, no the thing is, uh, once she gets there, it'll be too late, won't it? She's in. Oh, and you know, Peg, once you've got a foot in the door, there's no shift in her. Well, I'd better get back to the surgery. Oh, won't you stay for a drink? No, really. Well, I'll be off and all. But no, you won't. You're staying for the week. Well, she's not dead. I know, but we've got to make it look like she is, haven't we? Well, thanks all the same, Zach. Marlon! Right, I'll catch you later, Rona. Good luck. <laughs> This will never work, you know. And what's more, it's in very bad taste. And pass me another beer, would, would, would you, Marlon? Do you think he's starting to come to terms with, you know, what you did? Oh, I think so. Not sure I am, though. A bit late now, isn't it? Oh, you'll make mistakes enough when your time comes. I'm not sure that that's the only one I've made. Why? Well, the new owners have offered me the job here or at another park in Scotland. And you chose here? Well, I didn't think we should just up sticks at the first sign of trouble again. I mean, it could become a habit. Do you think you and Phil will work everything out? Soon find out. He's coming round for lunch, see where we're going with things. Do you still love each other? Of course we do. I did a very stupid thing and it's going to take Phil a while to come to terms with it, but I think he will. We've come too far to just end it all now, haven't we? Not many people there for a dingle wake, is there? No, she weren't that popular. <laughs> I heard that. Yours will be packed. They'll all come to see if you're really dead. It's not too late to put a stop to this, you know. Oh, I'll give over. Oh, it's for a good cause. It's to get my beloved mother into the home she so richly deserves. Hey, you give the game away, Marlon, and that coffin won't go to waste, do you, mate? Do you think she should be drinking so much? I mean, she might want to go halfway through. Ah, oh, you're right, yeah. Get her up there now. Blimey, they're here. They're coming on the drive. Ah, Too late! Mother, you're on. Right, everybody, sad faces. Try to keep them away from the box. Right, here we go. Elvis. Sad, right? It's a sad, sad day. She'll be missed, bless her. Still had some kin yet, you know. Mm. One minute larger than life, the next. Wait a minute. What do you mean, one minute? You've not seen her in months. You'd abandoned her to her fate. What, and, and you don't think that that'll weigh heavy on my shoulders for the rest of my days? Yeah, well, God. Yeah. We're here to give her a good send-off. We'll not have arguing at a time like this. Would you like a drink? Well, you'd never ask. Ah, oh, so you stopped off for one on the way here. <laughs> couldn't wait to drown our sorrows. Mm. Where's charity? Consumed with grief, yeah, she couldn't first say it. I'll just have a little look at her. Oh, plenty of time for that. You just uh, get yourself comfortable. No, 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 I need to see her. Huh? Oh, Nana. Let's get you that drink. Uh. She does look at peace, though, eh? Uh, like she were asleep. Uh, would, would you like a beer or...? Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry, Nana. Are we getting a bit low on the cans, love? No. Huh? Oh, no, there's a, there's a few left. Lisa. Well, it's lovely to have all the family together, eh? Marilyn's back any better, is it? No, he's still in spasm. Oh, well. You've got to be glad to know when you're lucky. Uh, pardon me. Uh, Vol upon anyone? Hi. Thanks. It feels funny saying that when it's your place just as much as mine. The cup of tea? No. Um, I think I'll have a glass of wine myself. Will you join me? I won't, thanks. Maggie, there's... Um, it's some... hard to know where to begin, isn't it? I think the first thing we should do is get out of here. I mean, with this new job, I'm earning enough that we can rent somewhere in the village. I think that's been the problem, you know, that we've been trying to make a go of it in this glorified tent. And you'll find a new job... Maggie... And... There's something I want to tell you. The kids are really angry with me. And they've every right to be, and so have you. It won't ever, ever happen again. My car's outside. I've come for the rest of my things. I'm going home, Maggie. I've just come to say goodbye. Shadrach? Uh. I was meaning to ask you, what were you like when you were a little boy? Kate. Okay. How would I know? It was years ago. You brought him up, didn't you? You must have some funny stories. Mm -hmm. The stories you want, is it? 
Here's one that'll make you toast. Is he bothering you? <laughs> no, just chatting about your childhood. No, what would he know? We're never there. Could open the his eyes about you, though, couldn't I, son? Can't I remember what happened yesterday? Come on. No! It's not every day I get to hear about your past. And you're not going to now, either. Come on. Ian! Just leave it, all right? What is up with you? Well, it must be the grief. Yeah, your barrel of laughs. I'm going to get Kirk. A good idea. Don't look back. What was she like in the end? Well, I can't tell a lie. She was a broken woman. Why? Loneliness. Yeah. That's what did her in. But surely she was with you a lot. Yeah, but you were always her favourite. She died of a broken heart. Well, I had no idea. I mean, she always seemed so hard, so uncaring. Soft on the inside. The day you dumped her here was the beginning of the end. Still, too late for regrets now, isn't it? Hey, get yourself another drink. Enjoy yourself. The speeches. I mean, she can't last out much longer. It's all in hand. Don't believe it. They're actually falling for this, aren't they? When Uncle Zach hatches a plot, oh. I... <laughs> oh, Mr. Pollard! Uh, an apology. I was callous. Uncaring. Thanks, Em. Um, we won't keep you. Oh, well, I thought I'd stay for a moment to pay my respects, eh? Oh, would you like a drink? Get us a fag, would you? I'm gagging. No, 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 quiet, uh, ladies and gents. Uh, but, but charge your glasses, if you would. I, I would just like to say a few words about my dear old mother. Who is uh, dead? At least, lest any of us uh, should forget. <laughs> It's a miracle she's lasted out this long. Psst. Now you. No. Hey, it's her. You keep her quiet or we'll be stuck with her forever. I'll keep the rest of them occupied. Be quiet, Mother. We're nearly there. Another half hour tops. So good. I'm dying for a shiggy. Yeah, a bit longer won't tell you, will it? Give me a fag now or I'm going to start singing. If you should just hold your mouth, I'll nail this lid down. You're doing a great job. Elvis is choked. <laughs> Let's sit no, no, five minutes, Mother. I'll hurry things along. I've been talking to her. I know. I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pay me last respects. Yeah. First time I've managed to get a word in. <laughs> Listen, uh, Shadrach's had plenty, so I'll see you in a bit. Hey, wait, no, you can't go yet. No, I, I'm not done my speech. Yeah, you have. No, that, that was just a few words. Oh, come on, play fair. It's a long drive. Uh, ladies and gents, your uh, indulgence, if you would. Yeah, I, I was, uh, well, lucky enough to be with the dearly departed uh, just before she set off on her final j uh, journey. And uh, she said a few things that I'd like to share with you now. If I can tell you before, obviously you've had, you've had migraine since you And when did you realise it was... Hi. All right. I'm glad you're here. Oh, yeah. We could have sorted things out really, couldn't we? Yeah, well, I thought we'd sorted everything out last night. I mean, we need to talk. Look, I came back here for a bite to eat and a bit of peace and quiet, thank you. Well, I thought we could spend the afternoon together, do whatever you like. Oh, so now that you're in the mood, I have to come running, is that it? I didn't say I was in the mood. I said I wanted to spend some time with you. Yeah, but on your terms, Chloe. When you feel like it. I just wanted to talk. Yeah, well, I thought we'd sorted everything out last night. It was great. But you have to go and examine things and, and fix things that aren't broken. Well, I've got a life and a job. And compared to all this, the problems at work are the ones I can deal with. But why, after all that we've been through, 
I made a mistake. It's not because of what happened with Rodney. Not really. Then what? I think it's because... Well, when we weren't together, when we had to snatch moments here and there, it was exciting. It wasn't real. I've realised that now, and, and I won't be like that. We both had this fantasy of what it would be like if we were free, and I don't think it lived up to what I was expecting. You said you're going home. You're going back to Anne-Marie. You are, aren't you? No. I just want to be near Jess. Do you think if I'd tried harder with her, things would have worked between us? I don't know, love. But there's no point in going through all that now, is there? You'll stay to see Craig and Lucy, though, won't you? I don't know if I'm brave enough. I'll come back and see him. Oh, Phil, I've made such a mess of things. No. <laughs> maybe in a couple of years, we can all start yeah, going on holiday again. <laughs> see where that takes us. Yeah. I'm going to go now. Say goodbye for me, won't you? I love you, Maggie. I'm sorry. <laughs> never bought a round in her life. I never had a good word to say about anybody. Even those who uh, took her in when no one else would. <laughs> but no matter how unpleasant or difficult to live with she was, I know she never lifted a finger, but had us all running round after at all hours. She was still her flesh and blood. So now is the time for forgiveness. Just as she forgave those who turned her from their door in her hour of need. Don't do a thing like that, eh? No respect for the dead. Hey, did nobody tell us smoking were bad for her? I need this hate. So, raise your glasses one last time. Rest in peace. Peg Dingle. Peg Dingle. Peg Dingle. Peg Dingle. Thank you, Zach. That was, uh... Well, let's get a move on, eh? I mean, just thanks, though, for... Uh... So we get loaded? She already is. Hmm? Oh, yeah, on the van. Yeah, I'll, um... I'll, I'll go and open up the van. Where are mother you going home? <laughs> mother? She's asleep. She only set fire to herself. Marlon, I think we've done it. I don't believe it, we've done it. <laughs> I, uh, bit early, isn't it? <sighs> well, it was supposed to be for me and Scott, but you decided to go back to work instead. Uh, more fool him. Are you gonna drink all that by yourself? Well, it'd be a shame to waste a bottle now I've pulled the cork. Uh, give you a hand if you like. Get yourself a glass. All right. <laughs> Can she breathe in there? Oh, yeah, I've drilled all, didn't it? Hey, what's you happen with that, lads? Uh, no, sir. Remember what happened when you tried to help carry our butch to his <laughs> final resting place? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what did you do? You fell over. Did I? Sorry. Hmm? <laughs> it's been out. Oh, away in a manger. No crib for a bed. Mother's favourite. Come on, all together. <laughs> the little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet head. There you go, lad. She's all yours. Well, there's another verse here. What about the cattle lowing and all that? They don't know it. No, we'll not keep you. Right. Right. <sighs> well, uh, I guess you've made her very happy. Well, it's the least I could do, you know. Right. Safe journey. Uh, moments like this, uh, never find the, the right words. Uh, so, uh, well, I'll just go. Uh. See you the creme. Don't 
suppose things have been right for a while, really. But, you know, things happen and before you know it, you're drifting apart. Ah, it's up to you two to stop that, isn't it? Talk about things. I try to. But talking about emotional stuff has never been one of his strong points. I don't even know why I'm trying to help you sort things out with Scott. What do you mean? Well, I've hardly made it a secret how I feel about you, have I? That clumsy pass at the Tate's party. Yeah. I didn't sleep for days after that. But I respected you for what you said and I realised that if that's all you want, then I'll just have to settle for being friends. And that is all you want, isn't it, Chloe? I don't know. I'd better run. Oh, I know. No. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Oh, Chloe, you just... Scott funny. could walk in and... Anyway, i better get back to work. I'm sorry, I'll, I'll see you later, yeah? Oh, that's better. The beer goes straight through. Hey, have a bit of respect, will you? Oh, sorry. You know, I should have brought her back with us the other day. Oh, it's easy to say now she's gone through, isn't it? She never does any harm in her, you know. And what do I do? Just palm her off on the relations. Oh, Shadrach. I'm telling you. What I wouldn't give for just one chance to make it up to her. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> it looks like it's your lucky day. Flaming neck! What the flipping hell are you doing up? It's a miracle! It's Zack! Of all the conniving, devious, cheating little beggars! It's been a bit of a day, but do you know what, love? I am suddenly feeling tons better. <laughs>